Jan Kutlik, the Dane, is in charge. Here come Slovenia, led just 10 of the players remaining then from that Asian game quality between 98 and 2014. For Slovenia, well... Slovenia in the all-blue one. Quick breakthrough, though. We have Al Salim at left back. Al Mualed on the other side. First shot. Apparently his generation remain in the squad here today. Ah. Feeds the ball into the line, an awkward angle, but beautifully done, a broken wrist shot. They haven't got enough pace when they're coming in at six metres. Eventually, though, managed to get the ball into the line, just as... Dolanet, the captain coming now, top scorer at the World Championship two years ago for Slovenia. And another lovely effort from him there for his third of the match. And for the uh, Saudi team, that was close to a foot. Well, a passive play call and a long-range mindset. Seste into the wing, good save again. Long ball down, not a bad effort. Oh, good save on the whistle by Lesiak. So Saudi Arabia throw off the second half. Lagotinchek started the game in defence. Oh, missed the connection, frustration. Long range shot, that's blocked again. And the follow-up is put away very well. Looking for him. Well, the defenders uh, managed to knock the ball away, but instead it went to uh, for a follow-up, and that's going to be a two-minute suspension. Left winger in his fourth World Championship. Get back out again, Sister. Back on after that suspension, goalkeeper goes down, the ball goes up, Domen Novak. Intercepted, done well. Luckily, uh, Bar comes up to help, but it's finished off by Domen Mak. Still short-handed, it's bounced through. Uh, it was more the push from behind, it wasn't a hand in the face, rather than being pushed. So it's going to be a uh, red card for Al Salem, who was already on a two-minute suspension. Because there are less than two minutes remaining in the match. Well, a double short-handed defence with only four players. Oh dear! They look to take a late shot. Here it comes. It's blocked. It'll be a throw-in. Final buzzer goes, and a comprehensive victory for Slovenia here in group. Success rate on their shooting in the end. It dipped right at the back end of the game. 69% for Slovenia was good. Yeah, of course, uh, we knew before the game that we were the favourites, uh, but it's never easy. The first game of the championship, uh, everybody has their goals. Uh, uh, I think we didn't play a perfect game, but uh, a part of maybe two periods where we were not really, really good. Uh, it was quite complete, we played good defence, we were running, we can always do better, but uh, like I said before, it's never easy. The first game, also the the nerves, the head, you know, you don't know what to expect, so I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy with two points, with the team performance and up to the next one. I think many, many people see you as a young player still, but you are, you are now one of the most experienced and the captain, you have been around for a long time, but you have been, uh, some of your teammates uh, done their debut today, so it's also important that they start to, to learn how it is to play a world championship. Yeah, I think it was nice for them to start with the game, which is on paper a bit easier, a little less pressure. So they got their first goals, uh, first win. So this is always important for the confidence also. But they are good players, uh, playing in good clubs, uh, a lot of uh, potential. So I'm sure that they will manage to play good uh, in the more difficult game also. Yeah, and today I'm one of the oldest. It's not, it was not so... So, uh, so far, so uh, ago when <laughs> when I was one of the youngest, uh, but uh, this is like the the circle of life. Uh, so I, I try to help them to 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 give them my experience also, so so they don't do the mistakes that I did, uh, and uh, that's it. Uh, hopefully, we can make uh, a good uh, mix in the team of the old and young players and uh, do some good results. 
And now you have two really difficult matches, I mean against France, one of the candidates, and against Poland that you saw all the ambience that we had here yesterday, so it's going to be intense. Yeah, it was an interesting game, uh, very physical in my opinion. Uh, nothing, we will need to prepare good, uh, good tactics, uh, understand what we want to do in the attack, fight like crazy in defense, run, this, this should be one of our uh, biggest advantages and that's it, uh, two important games that can change the, the structure or the way of the World Championship for us, so nothing, uh, we just need to stay confident, respect the opponents uh, and that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you.